Well, here go the Mountaineers again in another tight one Thursday night with a game tied against Cincinnati. The Butler did it with the bank shot, breaking a 51-51 tie. Deion Dixon would lost the ball out of bounds seconds before, agonized. And then last night, West Virginia up by two. Torrey Jackson had a look at a three with five seconds to go. And then Wellington Smith, a nice strip in the rebounding action. West Virginia held on again. So two narrow victories. Will they dance with the Big East title tonight? Deshaun Butler clearly where they want to go. He's hit five game-winning shots in the final seconds this year for West Virginia. And the ball being inbounded from the exact same spot it was in the Cincinnati game for the last shot. Deshaun Butler will be in the same spot. They'll run Casey Mitchell into the corner to drag a defender there. West Virginia hasn't had a field goal in seven minutes, 16 seconds. All their eight points, the most recent eight from the line. And nobody on the ball again. Ebanks inbounds it to Butler. Butler into the lane, in the traffic. It goes again for Butler. Four seconds to go. They have a timeout. Right down. You knew he was going to touch it, Jay. But nobody guards the ball to make the catch more difficult. And just an unbelievable shot. Everybody knew it was going to Butler, and they got it to him anyway. And look at this, almost getting wire to wire. Oh, how many times in a career? Same play. No bank this time. Just perseverance. But, Bill, if you've got somebody guarding the ball, that is not as easy a pass. You can disrupt it. Seems to happen a lot lately. So some today. Kevin Jones and the native New Yorkers so emotional. They return home to New York City. The Madison Square Garden and win the first Big East championship in the history of the program in agony for Chris Wright, who was brilliant throughout the four nights. Georgetown denied in a bid to add to its record total of Big East titles. They're still at seven. Deshaun Butler said, Bob Huggins says, if you want to be special, you have to do something special. This was their opportunity tonight, and they win the first conference championship in tournament play for the school since they won the Atlantic 10 way back in 1984. And one of the easiest decisions ever in conference tournament history, Deshaun Butler is the most outstanding player of this Big East championship. He'll win the Dave Gavitt Trophy. And he's one of Bob Huggins' favorite players. Bob said not only is he perhaps the most complete player ever coached, he's as good a person as I have coached. And you can see the emotion in Hugs. And here's Doris. Coach, congratulations. You won a lot of championships in a lot of different conferences, but it's Saturday night in New York in the Big East. Characterize what this mean when this win means to you. Well, this is very special for me because it's West Virginia. And uh, these guys are unbelievable. I mean, we we continue to compete and fight and rebound the ball and do things that probably we shouldn't be able to do, but we do anyway. You had so many guys do so many things. Wellington Smith, Joe Missoula, but yet again, the Butler delivers. I'll ask you again, what allows this young man to continue to shine in the toughest moments? Like I told you last time, 
Whoever didn't know the ball's going to be in his hands hasn't watched this. We're going to give him the ball and let him make a play. Can you describe the job that Wellington Smith did defensively? Everybody's going to want to talk about his points and his rebounds, but describe the effort he gave you defensively. He, did, he kept the ball alive so many times for us. And when we were struggling to score, he rebounded the ball for us and did a great job guarding their bigs. Congratulations, Coach. Thank you, Doris. Deshaun, the ball finds its way to you yet again in the moment that matters most. Just evaluate, tell me what was going through your mind when you catch it that late. Um, I knew it was tied, and I, I had a good feeling they thought I was going to shoot a three. So I got a little hesitation in there, and went to the basket, and Austin stepped up, I think Austin stepped up, and I tried to like get a little half step over him, and I got it up in time, and then went in. Evan, Evan made a big shot, I thought I made a big shot, so I told him I was going to make another one, and there you go. So. Coach talks about doing special things. You have to do that to do it. Tell me, from your perspective, a New Yorker and so many of your teammates from this area to win it in Madison Square Garden where you watch your beloved Mitt Knicks, what does it mean to you? It means the world to me. You know, I grew up I grew up around this area, man. I played against pretty much every basketball player from this area in New Jersey. This is my favorite team, the New York Knicks. This is my team. I grew up watching this on television. I grew up playing here pretty much. And it's just, and I've played so well here since I've been a freshman throughout my, my career. So, you know, it's just, it means so much to me just to get my, our first, our, our state's first, our school's first, biggest championship, you know. It just means the world to me, honestly. Congratulations. Go celebrate with Thank your you so guys. Much. I appreciate it. Sean. One of the great players in the history of West Virginia basketball, a fitting accomplishment for an ultimate team player. And for those who think... Bob Huggins is just one big tough guy. You can hear the emotion in his voice, too. And on the final play, Sean, nobody guarding the ball. If you are right there guarding the ball instead of right here, you can affect the angle of the pass, and perhaps Deshaun Butler doesn't catch it so easily. And once he catches it, you really are only guarding him with one guy. Well, one man on Butler has proven not to be enough, Bill. How about the follow-through here? He didn't have total control, Jay. Able to armpit it back home, and this kid just steps up at the right moment. Let's give a little onions at the end of the year. Wow, what a way to finish. Great defense, offensive rebounding, but when it comes to clutch time, wow, that kid steps up. Georgetown had a timeout, but they elected to go without it, and they got a great look from Chris Wright. He just didn't make it. For all the day's action and more on this game, stay tuned for Sports Center. This has been a presentation of ESPN, the worldwide leader in sports. What a week it has been here at the Big East Championship. Jay Billis, Bill Raftery, Doris Burke, and our entire crew, Sean McDonough saying congratulations to West Virginia, the 2010 Big East champions. Good night, everyone.